All right, this is Mr. Gillum, and today we're going to talk about uh, markdowns. And basically what a markdown is, is it's when you have something that you want to buy and there's a coupon or there's a, um, a discount or they have something on sale, and it'll help you to figure out how much you have to pay for it. So that's what we're going to learn about today. <clears throat> So here we go. A markdown is whatever the discounted percentage is, we're going to find the markdown and see how much it costs. So what we're going to do is this. If something is marked down 20%, what percent are you actually paying? So we've been talking about this little box in class the last few days. And basically, there's 10 sections to this this little chart here and at the far end we're going to call it a hundred percent and at the bottom we're going to call it zero percent and so when we're representing how much of something we're actually paying if it's marked down twenty percent then really we're paying eighty percent of the cost because if we're not including twenty percent of it that leaves eight of these sections here so, of course, this would be 10%, 20%, 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 So, as you can see, when you cross out two of the sections here that we're not paying, that's the discounted part, we're paying 80% of the original. So, <clears throat> if you shape from right to left, or if you cross out what you have there, whatever's left is what you're paying. So, let's take a look. Okay. What we're going to do is this. Um, similar to yesterday, we're going to have to first of all figure out how much each section is actually worth um, by dividing how much the original cost is by the number of sections. Today, we're always going to have 10 sections, so um, representing 100%. So this time today, we're only going to divide by 10 every time for 10 sections. Then we're going to mark the box that represent where the discount would be. So we're going to try to find where that discount price would be, and then we're going to decide how many sections and how much is it actually going to cost? So let's take a look here. This PlayStation game originally priced $50. So the original price is $50. And so that means that 0% would be $0. And is on sale for 10% off the top. What is the sale price of the game? So remember, this is 100% down here and 0% down here. First things first, let's try to figure out how much each section, how many dollars each section represents. I have $50 and I'm dividing it into 10 sections. So I'm going to say that it's equal to 5. There's 5 per. So I'm going to say this, this guy's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So that's what I got going on for me here. Each of these percents, so I could find any percent of the 50 that I wanted. Um, if it's a factor of 10, or in some cases, if it's uh, like 25%, I could probably find that as well. So let's take a look here. It's 10% off, so I don't want this last box. So I'm going to go all the way until this line right here. In this case, I know that since it's 0%, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90 percent. If I'm not paying 10 percent of it, then I am paying 90 percent of it. So this is where I'm looking for. In this case, the PlayStation game will cost $45 after 10 percent is marked off. All right. So the Step Family Dinner bill came to $30. So what they need to pay is $30 at full price. It's $30. And so 100% will be 30 and 0% will be $0. Remember, we have 0% here and 100% representing the entire $30. It says, Miss Steven had a coupon for 20% off. So what is the discounted dinner bill? Well, if she's not paying 20%, that means wherever this line right here is, that's going to be the remaining part that she does have to pay. Or you could think of it as 100% minus 20% means she'll have to pay 80% of the bill. So what I need to do first, I need to figure out, well, if I have $30 in my total, and I want to find each equal increment for each one of these sections of my box. There's 10 boxes. I'm going to divide it by 10. So it tells me that each box really represents $3. So 
So 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, that's the magic one, and 27. So if she's paying 80% of the 30, or you could say she's paying 20% less than the 30, she's not paying 27, she's paying $24 is what she's going to have to actually pay at the discounted price. It says Dillard's is having a Columbus Day sale, and the shorts are originally priced at $20. So that's how much they are at 100% of the cost. If they were 0% of the cost, it would be $0. 0% will be $0, of course. So it says they originally priced 20, they're marked down 15%. So if each of these sections still represents 10, one of them is gone and actually going to be right halfway in between there. So if I have $20 in 10 sections, each section would be $2. So it's 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And oh, interesting. So we need to find the exactly halfway in between 16 and 18. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can count on your hands and say, okay, well, there's a distance of 2 in between 16 and 18. If I'm at halfway, it would be a distance of 1 from each because 17 is halfway in between 16 and 18. Or you could find the average for bigger numbers. 16 plus 18 divided by 2. We could say 34 divided by 2 equals... 17. So you can do it any way you want. You can use your, your logic skills. You can use whatever. If it's at 160 and 180, it might be a little too hard. So you could always go back to this, and this will always tell you exactly what's in between. Find the midpoint. So in this case, if she doesn't have to pay 15% of it, she doesn't have to pay 2 $3. So she does have to pay $17 if it's 15% off. And I'm getting sick of red, so let's go to blue. My Verizon plan is normally $80 a month, but I get a 15% discount for being a state employee. How much is my bill? So 100%, that guy right there, 80 bucks a month, but 0%, I wouldn't be paying anything, of course. That's what just happened. 0%, I would be paying $0. And once again, I have a 15% discount. So if each of these represents 10% each section, one has to go, and then half exactly needs to go. So I need to decide how much each section is going to be worth. If I have 80 and divided by 10 sections, that leaves me $8 per section. Let's say 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, and 72. So, in this case, halfway in between 64 and 72. Well, since I know there's 8 in between 64 and 72, I know halfway in between would be 68. $4 more than 64 and $4 less than 72. Or, if you're having a hard time figuring out halfway in between 64 and 72, we can add it together and divide it by 2. That'll be halfway in between. 136 divided by 2 is 68. So 15% off of an $80 bill, I would be taking 18 or 12, $12 off the bill, but I'm really paying $68 total. Okay, so it might ask you $12 off. Depends on what the question says. In this case, it says how much is the bill? It's going to be 68. How much were you discounted? You got $12 off. All right, and so that's what we're doing today. Um, so hopefully you can calculate the uh, the new price given a, uh, a discount.